Well, of course, things are going to slow down just like when you go to your car, have to clean your car off. We also have to slow things down here at the airport a little bit. But our goal is to get the customer on time, off the gate, at every turn. My name is Ron Eberle, and I'm a fleet service clerk. They have what they call the icing on request, where the pilot will do his walk around and call it the icing uh, command center, and then they'll dispatch us to the airplane. When it's snowing, they have what they call full-blown de-icing, which means the pilots know they're going to automatically be de-iced in departure order. So the de-icing command center will dispatch us out. Hi, my name is Dan Chris, so crew chief and the icing program for American Airlines. The way the aircraft is designed is it has to be clean. We call it clean. That means no contaminants on the top edge of the wings at all. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. If there's frost on the wings of an aircraft, the thickness of sandpaper, fine grit sandpaper, it can affect the lift of the aircraft up to 30 percent. Every morning we're out here spraying uh, anywhere from November 1st until uh, April 30th. My name is Gene Herrick. I am the de-icing CSM on the morning shift for American Airlines in Chicago. So what we're trying to do is make sure that airplane wing is clean, smooth, ready to go, and when it takes off, the aircraft has excellent lift capabilities. And you can't just pull up and start spraying uh, fluid on an airplane. You have to have the airplane prepared. My name is Tony Markowski. I'm Tower Operation Manager for American Airlines in Chicago. Everything on the airplane has to be close up. There are certain parts of the aircraft that cannot be sprayed. The flight crew has to prepare the airplane for that fluid application. Boarding has to be completed, loading has to be completed. It's important that that communication take place before any de-icing starts. They have a computer system here that you log into. It keeps track of pretty much everything we do, how much glycol we spray. We have software and toys up here to monitor the operation. You can send a message to the cockpit to ask them to prepare the aircraft, and via this radio up here, they send you a message back. They radio back to you that the aircraft is prepared to the ice. We can monitor the amount of the ice and fluid that is sprayed, at the level they spray it, the temperature they spray it, and when the, the icing operation actually starts and finishes. We know where they are, when they are, and when to move them to the next aircraft. There are two different things that have to happen during de-icing. So you could just clean the uh, airplane off with a type one fluid. Type one is a de-icing fluid, it's heated, comes out hot, takes the snow off. If it was snowing out, I would have to put anti-icing fluid, which is type four. Which will then hold that precipitation on the wing until you're ready to take off. And what happens is, it just keeps the contamination from adhering to the wing, and then once you take off, it slides right off and the wing is clear. This truck mixes the water with the Type 1 fluid. The older trucks, everything was pre-mixed in a 5545. So whenever you spray, it didn't matter how warm or cold it is, it was uh, giving you a more concentrated mix because it was set for like 40, minus 40 degrees to minus 60 degrees. So you used a lot more glycol with the old trucks. Now, what we're doing uh, is spraying a lot less fluid, a lot more water mix ratio, cost savings in fluid for the for the customer, for the airline, and uh, environmentally sound. The products have come a long way over the years. So today, you could go anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half with the, with the fluid not deteriorating before you could take off. Uh, in the past, it could be anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, which would then, once you left the gate and if you sat out and were waiting to take off, you couldn't do that. You'd have to come back and get it reapplied again. So technology and the way the fluid is today has come a very long way. Uh, when it comes to de-icing in a snow event, we will dispatch anywhere from 14 to 18 trucks uh, that handle at least 12 to 14 departures per hour. So it's not just one truck for one airplane. We usually attack each airplane with two to three trucks sometimes. And that de-ice time could be anywhere from five to seven minutes from the time the, the departure is ready to go. And that's uh, pretty small amount of time for your safety and that's what we're trying to uh, shoot for is the safe safety factor. 